all uh, he all collects here or something. I know. website 
it says to call for rates and availability. And then whenever we call, it's just like a message saying, you know, check the website. And then when we go on the website, it says to call. So we're kind of just gonna go and see if it's open for ourselves. Yeah. I mean, half the shit that we tried, like we wanted to do, we can't do because you then need a permit that you have to apply for like a month in advance. A month in advance. Honestly, just if you ever go do your research intensely, like looked into, we just thought you could just show up and that's how it works, but yeah. it isn't. It isn't how it works. I think that the permit thing is a good idea. However, we didn't plan, so we're kind of annoyed by it. Why is it not the right I don't know people like waffle fries. Like I like that. waffle fries, so I think, never mind, I'm gonna get fries, but it's gonna be the waffle fries. I'm not from Salve. Look at us talking about food. Like, okay, yeah, it always Off topic. Food. Anyways, yeah, we're on our way to Coconino National Forest, but we're gonna be going through Tonto National Forest for the views and hopefully stop by and see like what there is to see. But yeah, so honestly, I'm just so happy to be leaving this place. I don't want to show this place. This place is really great, and I think that it would have been really way fun for us if we could go to museums. If, so we we didn't, if we didn't bring Arthur with but us. We brought Arthur and we can't bring Arthur into museums and stuff like that. Yeah. So, and it's we're not going to leave him. more expensive to be in the city. Yeah. Which makes sense. I don't want to leave him. We got a, we got an inn and I don't want to leave him in the inn because he'll fuck that shit up. Honestly. Yeah. He'll mess up the place. He'll mess up the place. And, oh, what, what is hell? he doing? Oh. I know, that scared me. Goodness gracious. But yeah, like, yeah, it, it was fine. I think we definitely enjoy the being out in the yeah nature more. Yeah, it's true. Anyways, that's pretty much it. So until next time. <laughs> Time. We've made it to the bubbling brook. We found this really awesome, like little crazy cool driving, and I just saw this. I saw water. You know me, I can always see water. And then we just, you know, made a U turn, stopped here for, you know, some views. Look at him getting wet. You like water? He's a lab, apparently. Apparently, lab. Coconino National Forest. Don't bust your finger again. See that? This is a uh, hammerhawk. Hammerhawk, is what like she call calls it. it. And it's a tomahawk and a hammer at the same time. Yeah, like axe stuff. You can hammer stuff. Fox cut myself.
dog, man. Can you see it? You see that? Why am I so clumsy? <laughs> isn't really working like the GPS so we're literally just using like the map so far so good so, yes. okay so it's pretty secluded and um, yeah, honestly we're really we're really hoping that there's not gonna be many people or any people at this creek nobody if there's no one then that'll be good because then I don't have to pull the razors out <laughs> bad joke any you know, you never, you never know. I, we already did see two camp, like, like camp RVs. Yeah, but we can't imagine they walked this far. That's true. So they couldn't have left their car unless they had another car. Yeah, we're really working for it. We're gonna have to hike a little bit to the watering hole, swimming hole, swimming hole, creek, what have you. whatever you want to call it. The water. Omg, oh, maybe not. Maybe seventy feet. Yeah, you. That's not over hundred. It looks like we're so close to the edge we were talking about. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> well, good thing we backed up in time. Oof. This. Wow. Okay. We're finally fucking here. And we keep, we keep. Do we go down this way? Where do we park? Yeah. Is it cold again, Bruno? Uh, bullpen. They yeah. use, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Find the name. It's please. absolutely clear, Alexis. Should we walk in? Yeah, it's clear. Oh my gosh, look at it. Wow. Oh my look at this little pool right here. <laughs> I just want to jump in it. Oh my gosh. I've never Come on, Arthur. I've never Come on, buddy. Like like it's in the water. Yeah, like that means the waterfall's down there. Oh really? You gotta keep, keep hiking down there to get to the waterfall part. Oh, the can we just go down the waterfall? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I was like, what the hell is this? Where's all the people? I don't know. They keep. It's going alright. Really We're soaking in. Okay. I mean, this bunch side is coated in. The bone from your tide. They break in all across my coastline. It's why I'm waking in by and heaven is bled into my bed and I just in the highest dream Victor walked to the edge of the town Victor came to the trash heaps And here his tears came tumbling down He cried Did you have to scream? I'm deaf now <laughs>
this fire. But I did it. Brianna made some food while I was, I don't even think you can see it, while I was um, doing that. It's, finally the sun is set, it's getting pretty dark. Um, after dinner, we're just gonna have some s'mores and then head to bed because we have some driving to do in the morning. So yeah, I'm just really proud of myself that I just started this fire, like you don't understand. Like this is the first fire I've ever started. So yeah, and it's looking like really good. It started off really small. If you want a tutorial on how to start fires, just comment below and I will teach you how to start a fire. Amateur style. Get my s'more. Wow, yeah, because the light's on me. Look at it. Uh -huh. It's a tarantula, Brianna. I know. <laughs> we found a tarantula. It is so cute, though. You're crazy, man. You're crazy, Alexis. Come on, he's trying to fall. Arthur, move out of its home. I'm Arthur. putting it back here. Hold on. Look how high that is. I don't know if you can see, but we are literally, this is our view. We're camping just like right over there. Yeah, it's really, really beautiful over here. Like, I'm so excited to sleep here tonight. And guess what? It's free. You don't get this at a campground where you pay $16 a night to stay at. Yeah, you get bathrooms. <laughs> but you get honestly, bathrooms. I would rather use a bathroom in nature than those bathrooms they provide for us. Honestly, yeah. Because the bathrooms are like really bad. They're like recyclable bathrooms which are good for the environment I'm you know I obviously support them but that doesn't change the fact that they stink responsibly but yeah definitely drown the fire apparently some campers actually started a fire forest fire apparently here in Blackstaff <laughs> Space I need Don't wait for time 
he can step to the side Just be true to yourself You've got nothing to hide lights up going on here oh let me close this anywho um we just finished having a oh my gosh something bit me or we just finished having like a little um like bonfire type thing little campfire campfire should I finish it should I finish this did you finish yours um no keep asking where is yours might help me sleep where is yours um, it's in the Put it out there all the way. Is this yours or mine? No, it's mine. Oh, yeah. I think I heard it. No. But yeah, so we got the lights set up in here. Put all our curtains up. Um, We're like, literally there's like a cliff behind us. It's so beautiful. Obviously you've seen, you've showed. And um, yeah, it's just really, really nice and spacious in here. We're gonna go just watch a movie and head to bed. Um, and then tomorrow, what are we doing? We're just gonna be hiking tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But it's a really wonderful campground and it's crazy because like it's way better than any of the campgrounds we've ever paid for. Yeah, and it's free. And so obviously, you know, not all dispersed camping is like this, but like the fact that we were able to find this is like- We really lucked out because also when we were looking at the map, I just saw a lake and I was like, I want us to camp near the lake. Yeah, but the lake- Who knew that it's right by a mountain? Yeah. Like we're literally like camping on a mountain right now. On the mountainside really cool oh, in the part that the rocks don't fall in mm -hmm. yeah honestly like we really love this man it's treating us so well mm -hmm. and um it's been a really fun fun trip ever since we left the city <laughs> mm -hmm. and flagstaff is so beautiful mm -hmm. like honestly if i would live anywhere it would be in flagstaff if i was gonna live anywhere in arizona it'd be in flagstaff definitely tomorrow i'm gonna head to bed bed and yeah, tonight.